One constant thing in life is change. Change will always happen whether we like it or we do not like it. Hello everyone, you're welcome to my channel. If you're new here, you're welcome. If you're an existing viewer, you're also very much welcome. The proverb that says, uneasy lies the head that wears the crown, is no truer than now that the ongoing issue between the Olori Naomi, the Queen, and um, our Oni of Ife is such a worrisome one. More so the kind of allegation, the kind, the manner it was done, and all of that. On crossover, we remember that Queen um, Queen Naomi went on a post on a on a Instagram post to declare a digital divorce from our amiable Oni of Ife. Well, which you know, people raised an eyebrow over, which was just not target at targeted at him, but also at the throne of the Oni of Ife. Now, at the point, people were saying, oh, she was back to the palace. And um, yes, at one point, we now discover that she's not back to the palace. But that there were discussions going on by the Deji of Akure and other chiefs. But for now, as at the time of this report, Olori is yet to be back as at the 31st of December and the 1st of January 2022. Whoever will have told us in the last few weeks or last few months that the Oni will be celebrating its Christmas and New Year in this manner, I'm sure nobody will have believed it. Now, Oni had to do his crossover night at um, Esther, uh, Madame or Prophetess or Pastor Esther Jai's church, you know, where he preached also and shared his experience um, as a Keruba and Seraphim member right from when he was a child. He even sang a song. Um, yeah, it's, it's a faith bit strong about how, um, you know, he started his journey in Christianity. And I must say the preaching was quite heavy. But something just struck to say that there's something in Yoruba, a saying that says, Kusi for batikol nyoluri. We know it's quite a tricky time for our Oba, but what can he do? Um, like I always say, every human being is flawed. Okay, This is one of the most challenging times for him. And what can we do but to just pray for him to have the strength? Also, um, there was a kind of old Dua choir night on the, first, yeah, on the 31st of December. And Olori Naomi was visibly absent. So definitely she's yet to return to the palace. And the only woman, well, that we saw that seated beside him was Prophetess Olubori, the uh, prophetess that is very close to the Oni of Ife. And this caused a lot of people to start trolling her to say, Madam, you have your own family. How come you don't sit in your own house to celebrate? Why do you have to be the one to sit beside the Olori, um, to sit beside the Oni of Ife? And all of that. And um, from different sources, we've been hearing that, of course, the Oba wants his wife back. Of course, Oba cannot wait to have his wife back, his beautiful wife back. But the truth is, it has gone beyond him because the elders have to... Um, how do I put the word now? Is it appease the gods or she has to... I don't know. That there's a process that must be gone through before she can return. That the embarrassment was not just for the... For her husband as um as a man but also for the institution that you represent and for the throne that you represent and also for the yorubaris in all entirety so it's it's bigger than we thought it is and it's actually more complicated now um i will say here that um this is might not be a smooth ride as much as i really pray for the queen to come back she alone can tell you know, she, nobody knows everything that happened in that marriage. Let's be realistic. Um, but from what we've known and the way she went about it, it's not really appropriate. And I think that is where, and you know how it is when issues like this happen. It's easy to mm, kind of negate what triggers the action, but the manner at which it was expressed was not appropriate enough. You know, I think... 
there's a way even the couples you know divorce each other and they can now come out to say oh we are no longer together again and the other party is not caught off guarded so i believe that our only was caught off guarded in all of this it wasn't expected at all it wasn't thought through and that's why i think that um Naomi's elders, Queen Naomi's elders will have done, you know, something differently. I'm sure the Queen would not have gone online to do this without the knowledge of her mother, regardless of whatever the King might have done to her. I believe that there are always better ways to do things for posterity, not for the pain we are feeling at the moment. I'm a fellow woman, I'm not judging her, I'm just trying to analyze this issue because it has a way of turning... Um, negative for the woman involved what might have been something easier maybe if she had not been visibly at present at maybe the christmas event or the new year event and people will start talking to say oh where is she where is she and maybe the elders now reach out to her and she says she was just wants to stay away she doesn't want to you know she's not having a good time and all that it's easier to mend fences like that but in this manner where you know what she's done now is a crime in court against the Yoruba race, against um, the throne of Oni and all of that, it has become so, so, so complicated. And from what we heard that some elders are saying, she should sit down where she is, she shouldn't come back and everything. And I'm just thinking, and, you know, a lot of people will say, um, Taji Nikawo, the prince, the only product of the marriage um, that should be retrieved from her because Uriya Deki is Sunta. Hmm. This is a big one. This is a one-year-old child who definitely has to grow with the mother because legally and even morally, you don't really take a child away from the mother. And from what we are hearing, the other Ayabas are having a field day, you know, well, happy that their strongest competitor is out of the way. If it's true, only God sees the heart. Um, but the thing is, will Tadini Kawo be left with, the, with Olori Naomi? Or would it be a case of the child has to grow in the palace? So this is quite complicated. And I really feel, you know, sad that um, all this are happening to our dearest Oni of Ife. Because if you must agree with me, that no man is perfect. Of course, every man has his own flaws. But um, being, um, being heartbroken in such a way... I mean, it kind of break up like that. But I'm telling you, it's not easy. So as the man is carrying on strongly, at least he was able to come out to perform, I mean, to, to preach at the crossover night and also at the Odua choir administration. We know that under him, he knows what is going on. He knows where the shoe pinch is. And for a man who has serially had women leave him, like the former Olori Uraola Zaina Butiti and um, the, the, the his first wife, the, um, what's her name again? I think um, Bombata, Olubukola Bombata, who also left him. So it's quite worrisome for him to now know that, okay, is that the way a woman will just take a walk? Despite the royalty, the Rolls Royce, Bentley, Jet, Jet Life, and... Um, Beautiful makeup, the flashiest clothes and all of that. Meeting dignitaries, dining with the high and mighty, both home and abroad and all of that. But when you know, when it comes to that point when a woman is not feeling it anymore, she can't take a walk. So what would um, what would be the fate of Olori Naomi after all of this? And the fate of the child who is the most innocent out of all the situations. So are they going to make it easy for her to come back? And on what terms are con conditions? Because as we see now, it's not as easy as we took it to be. So what terms will she be given? How will it be taken? Is her husband ready to have her back? Are they going to make sure they're going to make it work? Because honestly, it's not a pleasant sight as the Yoruba culture dictates to see the Oba without his Olori beside him. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. A Oba would always have his Olori beside him And even if they had had an amicably um, agreed um, separation It would be, have been a lot easier All right, But this digital way of divorcing each other I, I, I don't really agree with it 
Because even for a boyfriend and girlfriend relationship, I think it's mean, for lack of a better word, for any man or any woman to, to divorce or break up with the other person. I think it's too tough. Nothing is still better than having a one-on-one -on -one discussion. So what's your opinion on this one? Are we going to be seeing Oni sitting alone at events without an Olori beside him? What choice does he have? As we enter this new year 2022, my heartfelt prayer for our, our Oni of Ife is I continue to respect him. I continue to regard him. I know this is a face in his life and I believe he's going to come out strong. I also pray for um, Olori Naomi. Of course, a lot of things have been revealed that are not supposed to be out there and how she's going to manage through and she's been doing well by keeping quiet and which is what she should do for now but we will wait and we will pray that this time around our only of ife will choose right even if queen naomi is not willing to come back and she has not pulled that post off her page as of today the first of january 2022 where she posted it on the 20, 23rd of december 2021 it's exactly a week after and things are just the same. So what's your opinion on this one? Please say a word of prayer for this family. And I know that as you wish them well and wish them happiness, whatever decisions they've decided to take, so shall we have happiness in our homes and in our lives also. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also remember to drop your constructive comment in the section below. I wish you a happy new year, more joy, more peace in our homes, money in our wallets, wisdom. And most importantly, good health in, in our bodies. Thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.